about how you feel. First of all, let's backtrack. You shouldn't even have to have a conversation with the person about why are they not supporting you like how you're supporting them because if it was the other way around, okay, if it was the other way around, they would be having attitude and problems with you. Like, well, why is this just showing up for me? Like, why every time I invite her out, every time I invite him out, they don't show up. I'm so fresh, so clean, you can throw dirt on my name, won't keep me down. So proud of my selfish stuff. Hello, hello, beautiful souls. How are you doing? I hope all's well with you. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope all's well with you. Have you seen my shirt? It says, I'd rather have no friends than fake ones. Okay. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, baby. <laughs> guys, I haven't been on my regular camera in a while, so bear with me. Okay. But, um, shout out to this shirt. Whoever made this shirt, shout out to you, baby. Because, yeah, I'd rather have no friends than fake ones. Drop a like if you could relate, okay? Next. <laughs> Chosen souls in today's video. I want to cover how the people that no longer, you know, they're no longer in your life, they enjoyed when you showed up for them, but they never returned the favor back to you. Yeah, that part. It's a lot of friends, family members, ex-lovers, current lovers, children, the whole nine yards, okay, of people that will use you and abuse you until you say no more, until you set that boundary. Especially if you've had talks with them, especially if, if, if you've had a conversation with them about how you feel. First of all, let's backtrack. You shouldn't even have to have a conversation with the person about why are they not supporting you like how you're supporting them? Because if it was the other way around, okay, if it was the other way around, they would be having attitude and problems with you. Like, well, why is this just showing up for me? Like, why every time I invite her out, every time I invite him out, they don't show up. Or when they do show up, they quiet more, or they, they in the background looking salty, or, you know, like, they, it's okay they would, no, no, excuse me, they would have a fit. They would be all right living if you did the same things that they think they were able to do to you and get away with it. It's, it's just not okay. It's never okay for people to think that they don't have to reciprocate your energy. Now, of course, you don't, you don't do things with the intention only to receive something back, all right? Because that's a double-edged sword. I know someone's going to mention that. But you also don't just sit back and allow someone to take clear advantage of you. Okay, meaning just take, take, take. And that's it. If you just have an unlimited supply of giving out things, giving out energy, giving out support, love. Even though it may appear easy to do, when you're giving someone else your energy, that's taking from you. That you can't get back. And people are so okay with doing this until the shoe is on the other foot. People are okay with this until the shoe is on the other foot. And I just find it crazy. Like, I did that rule the other day, and that's what made me think about it. And I'm like, treat people accordingly to how they show up for you. All right? And she mentioned pretty much not bother at all. Some people, they don't hit you up at all. They only think about you when it comes time to party or a certain aesthetic or a certain look or to have like an entourage effect or whatever, you know? Absolutely not. Chosen ones, don't allow yourself to be used and abused for someone's temporary pleasure or temporary happiness. I've said it in so many of my videos that authentic connection is extremely important. It is extremely important for a chosen one. Yes, you are to accept people for who they are, love them for who they are, but if they're not willing to, if they're not willing to show up for you, you're really gonna do yourself that disservice. And again, people they know. They know that they they have not shown up for you nowhere near how you've shown up for them, but they'll still they'll just use you. They'll just take full advantage. Some people they really just don't care. They don't they don't have like that. Like, oh, I feel bad, you know, I feel like I used him or her. No. Mm -mm. 
They could do that over and over and over and over again if you give them the opportunity to do so. It, it just, it, it, it just disgusts me when I look back on a lot of things it does. And that's why, you know, it's not good to live in the past. It's not. And I do see some comments where they're like, you know, well, that's why you shouldn't focus on certain things or certain people. And this is not for people that do, doesn't want to hear about it. This is for people that are still hurting. My page is, is to spread love, peace, and light for healing journeys. Because I'm caught. I just feel like no matter what happens, you're consistently on a healing track. So my words are supposed to be uplifting and encouraging because just because some chosen ones may, may, might have been able to just close off and cut off and move on just fine, doesn't mean that's the story for everyone. I want to touch topics that covers everyone. Everyone feels included here, okay, baby? Yeah, eat for everyone. It's kind of, you know, the chosen ones. Not just, you know, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, don't, don't allow yourself to be used. Don't allow yourself to be mistreated. Even if other people tell you that it's far-fetched or it's too high, don't, okay, well then you're just not my people. I've had people tell me that I have high standards, extremely high standards, and I'm like, me? Because I'm asking you to be honest, because I'm asking you to be fair, to be loving, to sh Give me words of affirmation to make sure that your your words match your actions, your action match your words. Like, how is that asking for too much or high maintenance or high standards? But because we're in this 3D low level, low vibrational place, people who people who don't love themselves and people who don't want to show up as a better version of themselves, maybe I don't want to evolve and grow. They're the ones that's going to say things like, you expect too much or you're doing too much. When they ain't even doing, they ain't doing nothing. They damn sure ain't doing enough. But you want to tell me what I'm not doing or what I, what I should stop doing. <laughs> Make that another topic. Because children, people love to try to tell us what to do. People love to try to tell us what to do. And I'm just like, no, not going to work. We don't, we don't take orders, okay? No. Don't, don't, if, if, if it doesn't sit well within your spirit, if it doesn't sit well within your heart, you don't have to accept it. It doesn't matter what anyone says out here or think about you. God loves you. God has favor on your life. And God will put things on your heart, all right, in your mind that he won't do for him. So for them to make it seem like other people to try to make it seem like you're wrong or something's up with how you are, it's like, baby, God made me. God woke me up today. Well, God wakes every day and makes sure I, I, I get back home safely and I can go to bed at night safe. So who are you to try to tell me different, you know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, just back to the original topic. The moment that you pull that plug, just like in my previous video, I told you about putting people on ice. The moment that you pull that plug, you will see the fame start to show. Because nobody likes when their source for this supply is pulled from them, like a narcissist. The narcissist feel like they have to be in control. They got to do the dumping and the discard and all that stuff. But when it's your turn to put your foot down and say, I'm not, I'm not going for this. See how many people do that little exorcist head spin, you know, okay? <laughs> that, that, that they're going to snake slither because you, you, you love yourself. And you're not going for BS. You know? When you stop going above and beyond, yes, that's what I want to say. When you stop going above and beyond for people, because those ones, we just have that heart to do so. I know why you do it. I do it. I used to do it. Sometimes I can still do it if I don't catch myself. Because we just have that big and that pure of a heart. But when you see, hmm, have, have, have they ever asked me how I'm doing? Have they ever checked in on me just because? If I was to ask them for money, would they loan it to me, but they're asking me? Would they offer me a ride if they knew I didn't have my, my car at the time? 
Like it's a lot of things you should just sit back and ask yourself, evaluate yourself and the people in your life and ask yourself certain questions about that. And if there's really no answers back, there you go. A lot of times we know the answer. We know exactly what it is, but we just don't want to accept it. But as I always told you, our energy doesn't lie. Actions don't lie. Words can lie all day long. People can stand in front of you and be like, baby, I don't, I, what are you talking about? No, like there's nothing wrong. Like, no. I was just busy. You know, I just got a lot going on. They'll make up whatever they're going to make up just to be a POS, okay? Piece of you know what. When they can just be honest. Mm -hmm. But again, we're in 3D. Who's going to be honest? And that's what I'm learning, chosen ones. Call it out. Depending on the relationship you have with the person, call it out. Say you don't appreciate it. And if they don't, if they don't accept the world, if they don't like it, then that's too bad. That is too bad. Because if you want someone to show up for you in a certain manner, in a certain demeanor, you should be willing to give that same thing, if not even more. But imagine that. Most people, they're not willing to do that. They're not willing to show up and give people the best version of them. But yet, they want that. That's why I said so many takers and not enough givers. And that's unfortunately the people we've run into. But chosen one, put your foot down. Put your foot down and don't accept it. Treat people exactly how they're treating you. And that doesn't mean to be petty or go for a tick for tat. If you see that there's really just no relationship, no type of reciprocation, you know, chill, lean back for a little bit. And then you got to say, you know what? I'm above the situation. We're just we're just not on the same plane. Okay, we're just not on the same. We're not vibrating the same way. And some people, a lot of people are going to be offended by that, but that's really not for you to really sit with and care, honestly. The thing is you got to guard your heart, guard your soul. Because while we're on this mission, to become better versions of ourselves, to truly unlock the kingdom. You know, the kingdom of God is inside of each and every one of us, but we were lied to our whole lives about it. We are on a mission, and we don't have time to deal with low vibrational people that want to lie, that want to take, and deplete. So, if they're mad because you stopped showing up for them, then just remind them, baby, I'm just returning the favor. Because you never show up for me. There's some people, they will never show up. But they will notice when you stop, when you stop making the effort, they're going to notice right away. But they also know that they don't ever, they don't ever try themselves. So, that's really what I got for y'all today. I'm not going to wrap my head up too much about it. I'm going to be back with another topic very soon. I'm a little sleepy. I'm a little tired. So hopefully I don't look a little too tired on the camera. <laughs> but, yeah, I know, like I said, I'm a mama. My mama up in here. No wifey, so my duties be going and going. But I can't forget about my family, okay? You know, my family, thank you so much for getting me to 25K. Yeah! 25K, dang! Yeah! Okay, look, let me not do too many hands to so y'all be like, ah! I'm just excited, okay? Try not to throw up some hood stuff, all right? No, <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you so much for the 25K. I'm looking forward to 30K. I'm looking forward to 40 and 50 and up and up. We going up, baby. We going up. All right, beautiful souls. I will see you on the next video. And remember who you are, okay? You know what? While I'm tired, I just want to tell y'all, remember who you are. Don't let anyone out here have you confused or questioning God or questioning yourself.
trust God, trust your journey, trust your process, trust the kingdom of God that's inside of you, your soul. All right? All right, beautiful souls. I love you so much. But remember, God loves you so much more. I'll see you on the next video.